Hey everyone, Robin here, and welcome to a brand new open world vampire survival game called V Rising. Centuries ago, vampires were overthrown by mankind, but now the time has come to rise up and conquer the world once again. So this is sort of like a top down, the UI is a bit like an MMO, um, but everything else plays a lot like a normal survival game. For the top left, I do have a set objective for me to do. So I'm going to try and gather a bunch of stuff here and then speed along. So I have a few different abilities and different ways to attack. Uh, the first one is this ranged attack that you've seen here. I have uh, my normal up. My normal left click, which is attacking. I can press spacebar to like sort of, I don't really know. I guess I'm going invulnerable for a little bit. Let's just, what's in here? I'll take all of that. That's good. And then the last one is C, where I can go into counter mode. And if any enemy attacks me during that time, they deal, they get dealt damage, and I'm absolutely fine. So I've completed the objective here. We're going to claim this, and now I should be able to make a bone sword. This is the crafting menu, and guess this is my um, my inventory down the bottom, and then every, all my gear that I'm wearing. So if I can get this sword really quickly, there we go. Easy. Really is important to have the best possible gear you can in this game. <laughs> That's so good. Okay, next objective is done. So now I can make a bone ring. We go to the crafting menu. I have 80 bones, I'm just going to use half. Next objective is done. Okay. Ah, I can now make armor, I believe. So I now need animal hide. Not sure quite how to get that, so we're going to move on and try and figure out how to get out of here. So I think this is all I can do in this area. So in this game, there's a lot of really cool things like base building, bosses, and a bunch of different stuff. So we're going to be focusing a lot, I think, on base building and bosses today. Um, there's a bunch of stuff that you unlock from doing the bosses, which is really cool. There's actually a reward. Okay, let's leave this starter area here. The The map is actually grayed out. So we're going to enter Farburn Woods, I think. I just may have mispronounced that. Farbane, that's it. We're going to go to the left here because there's actually a base location that I have in mind, which is right here. Looks like a nice little starter place. So we're going to head straight there, I think, and try and get set up. Okay. If I could find some animals, that would also be amazing. This is a really cool world, this. It's a very pretty game. Okay. Okay. Chill. I actually want to feed on you. So, down here is the blood pool. You can use this to heal, and it will just gradually sort of go down over time. And depending on the life form that you drink blood from, the quality sort of changes. So, you can see there the different benefits. Right up here is where we're going to build. Now, the reason I want to choose up here is because it's very easy to maintain. It's very high up and out of the way. I'm actually a huge fan of this area, so... Let's chop down a few of these trees here. What the hell is that? What? Yo! I'm not supposed to kill you. I'm not doing too bad to say this guy hasn't even got a level. Oh, got it. Right, I wonder if I can secure this area really quickly. Let's follow the objective. Smash rocks into pieces. Okay, I can now start to build my base. If I press B here, you can see that I need a bit more blood essence, which means I need to kill some creatures. It's like a drop from them, basically. So, let's go and take on this bear down here, I think. Uh-oh. Yo, the sun's rising. This is not good. And I'm also, like, dead. So what I can do, I think, is heal, drinking out of my blood pool. Okay, and we are healed. Lovely. Let's try and make it back up to the top. Oh, I'm going to take a little bit of damage here. That's not bad. <laughs> yeah, you really don't want to be stuck out in the sun. In fact, I'm just going to AFK until night time, because honestly, it's quite deadly, and I can't really do anything right now. Okay, we are now safe to go out. Yo, this actually might be too big of a fight right now. Oh my god, there's so many. Okay. 
that was pretty intense. <laughs> Do I have enough? I have 56 blood essence. That may be enough to actually start building my castle now. It is. Okay, I'm going to go right here, I think. This looks good. Yeah, I like this. So, let's start to expand the area just a touch because this is really small. So, this just basically, to the best of my knowledge, makes it so I can build more. Um, but we also need to provide blood to upkeep the base. Or well, the castle. <laughs> Same thing. So, now we can build walls and stuff like that. Let's start to secure this area. I believe this is my only sort of vulnerability. So we can build palisades, which are basically walls. Let's build the entrance here. Then we'll go with a wall. And another wall. Unless I should have built a window. I don't know. Doorway there. And that looks secured. I think. <laughs> that looks pretty good to me. There should be no other way up here. So let's build a coffin. This is basically a bed that allows me to safely uh, sleep out the day, essentially. There is no time skip, though, so it's basically just AFKing. Let's build a small stash just about here as well, if I can... Okay, one there, one there, and one there. We've got three containers. Cool. You know what? I'm going to build a 3x3 three three barrier right here. I want to secure this completely. Okay, let's close this guy in. So this may not look like much, but it is in fact secure. <laughs> so let's make a sawmill in production over here. This will allow us to make planks. I need a bit more lumber. I guess I used it all. <laughs> I'm in a pretty bad situation right now. My blood pool is pretty much empty, so I've got to go and kill something and feed off it. Hopefully this bear is good enough. We will see. 22%. That's really good. Lovely. There we go. I now have a complete area. Good. Should be able to have some shade as well. So, let's make the sawmill. Now that I can, at least, it should be... Probably over there. Annoyingly in the place I can't reach. I can just get around here in the shadow. So what we do is chuck our wood in, and that will slowly become planks. Planks and sawdust, which we'll need to upgrade our armor. Okay, I can now make the workbench, which should allow me to... Uh, yeah, I should go over here. To make my new upgraded gear. So, let's take a look. All of this, yeah. I need to upgrade all of this, so... Let's craft all of that. Okay, let's get the reinforced bone sword. I think that's a good upgrade. Gear level 6. Okay, let's upgrade the... Axe first, so the axes and the mace. And then what I need to do is go get copper so we can start to smelt that. Now I've just completed this task, which has unlocked the blood altar. The blood altar is basically sort of questing. It gives you... Uh, I can just make it straight away. That's really nice. It gives you uh, objectives to go and hunt down bosses. So we're going to put this right there. And then we can interact with this. And these are all the bosses in the game. Quite a lot. <laughs> so the first one we're going to kill is the Alpha Wolf. And that is not too far away. And it should give us the ability to refine leather, I believe. Oh, hello you. Rangers. What? 53 blood purity. Jeez, that's insane. That's going to give me movement speed as well. Okay, copper. There's some here. Lovely. I don't actually know how much I need, so I'm just going to keep going until the sun rises. I think that's a good idea. Got some gems out of that. Oh, I <laughs> didn't time that very well. 93% blood purity. That's amazing. That's going to get me to tier 4, I think. Yep. <laughs> just lock it out. That's hilarious. So the next objective is to hunt down the Alpha Wolf. So we're going to track the blood here. We can, I guess, smell it. <laughs> I don't know. And we're going to be going, looks like, this direction. Which is taking us towards the center of the map. I can't really do anything right now, so I am just going to hop in the coffin. And wait until the morning here. Okie dokie. Let's get ready and go hunt this wolf. Wolfie Wolfie, we are coming for you. 
I'm not going to waste any time. I'm just going to head straight out. Because I know how quickly the night can go. Look how pure that blood looks. That's a very... Na like, okay. Weird to say. That looks like nice blood. There it is. Alright. Let's go. I... <laughs> that was so bad. I swear I pressed the button. It just didn't do anything. If you're not going to believe me. Oh, he's spawning in. Okay, alright. Really? Really? The wolf's getting attacked by someone else, dude. Ah! Okay, this is not fair. Hold E to extract the blood. I gotta do this quick. There's someone else coming. Unless they've gone away. I don't know. Well, tier 5 blood. Oh my god, that chops trees. Alright, well... Mission complete. Let's head back to the base, I guess. Back home, safe and sound. Let's chuck in all this blood. Construct and interact with a research desk. Uh, let's pop that. Let's go right here. Seems good. So, what can we do with you? I need 50 paper to discover a random technology. Well, I definitely don't have 50 paper anytime soon. I've only got four, I think, right now. Aha! I can make castle flooring. Gargoyles, torches, reinforced walls, stone bricks. How do I make stone bricks? Okay, this is quite a lot of stuff. It's mildly overwhelming, so I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna not focus on that for now. I am going to continue with the objectives and upgrade this. So we need some leather. Let's make the furnace, which will then allow us to... craft... Iron ingots, I believe. Let's chuck that right there. This is rather cramped right now. I am just sort of making do. Will be upgraded eventually here. So let's get all this smelting. This is going to take quite some time, actually. Yeah, like that. <laughs> That's so much. Okay, while this uh, copper ore is melting, I am just literally going to sleep and AFK until the morning. I'll see you then. Finally. We can rise once again. God, AFK overnight is like... I don't know. Part of me kind of enjoys it, actually. 13 iron. Iron copper. Let's upgrade the axes. I think that might make sense to me. I like to farm. No. Let's do the sword first. 76 planks. That's really good. I might even dismantle these and start to make the stone... Uh, the stone walls, because I believe... Yeah, it says right there, encapsulated rooms will generate ceilings. Which means that I won't have to worry about sleeping overnight anymore. So let's just dismantle all of this. I don't really care too much about any lost resources. It's, it's really fine. Oh my god, that's let a bear in immediately. That's hilarious. I need stone brick for these. I definitely should not have done that. Keely the Frost Archer will allow me to turn... Animal hides into leather. That's really good. I don't think I'm quite ready for that fight, considering I just deconstructed my base. Jeez, that's three copper nodes right here. Yes, please. I did, in fact, decide to bite the bullet and just build... <laughs> build this back. That was a big mistake, but... It's okay. I've paid the price. We're now back to being safe. <laughs> Doing a nice little fancy upgrade to a copper axe. I would like all copper tools, but it is rather expensive, so we'll see how it goes here. But I think my next objective is going to be to go and kill the second sort of boss, if you will, which is the little archer lady. Okay, awesome. Let's, let's just drop this off really quickly. I don't need those anymore. You know what? I'm just going to drop everything off and let's just go. Oh, wait. Hold on a second. I can take a wolf form? Nice. Oh, You've there she is. Ah! I'm, I'm taking it. Oh, God. You know, that wasn't a bad start. What is happening right now? Okay. Chill. She's like, you've got one chance to run. <laughs> I'm gone. Where is she? I can probably get her on her own right now. Oh, no, 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 no. Ooh. 
Okay, I mean, this is... I'm gonna say easier than the first fight. Just sort of tracking her wherever she's gone. Yeah. See you later. Okay, second boss done. Lovely. I've got to get home now. I'm halfway, two thirds of the way through the night. I am struggling to stay alive right now. I need some blood ASAP. I will feed on you. Oh well, I mean, I just, I had to. Okay, the tannery, let's chuck this down. I'm slowly running out of space here, but honestly don't have much choice other than to make it work. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's even the wrong way. You know what? I'm gonna roll with it. <laughs> let's chuck all of this in here, actually, like that, and that's gonna process. Plant fiber and leather turns into an empty canteen. That's cool. So I've got this new ability, Frostbat, launch a projectile that explodes upon impact, dealing 100% magic damage. I think I like the idea of replacing that with my counter. Yeah, that works. So if I do this, I now have two ranged attacks. I like that. Okay, I wonder if I just like tear up a bandit camp. What's gonna happen? So it looks like basically like every other game, stuff's just like hidden in containers that you smash up. I got two whetstones from that. That's like the only thing I need right now. That's great. What the hell is this? It's a small house. I guess that's the loot, the main loot. Okay, I mean, hell yeah. I'll take the paper. Oh no, I'm carrying silver. That's like doing me harm. Well, I made it home just in the nick of time with silver. So, I'm looking forward to finding out what I can do with that. Probably not much. Maybe a lot. I don't know. But either way, that was a bang on time. So, I think I can finally upgrade the Castle Heart. Not entirely sure what that's done. That's unlocked the Mirror's Blueprint. Track and defeat five blood carriers to unlock new technology. Alright. I need one more whetstone. And then I can start making stone structures. Right up here, this place, the Bandit Armory, should have some whetstones. Alright, let's go. Okay, here we are. Let's kill them all. <laughs> if I can find the entrance. I may have even been here before, we'll see. But, let's just begin. Bad start, I'm not gonna lie to you. Wrong weapon out, and all sorts. Oh, 63%! I need to feed on you, hold on. Damn it, I killed him. <laughs> no. I think I just got a whetstone. I did, I've got three. I need one more. I got another one. Nice, I can now make stone bricks. What is that? A vest. Yo. It's a book that I can research to make the vest. That's really cool. Okay, made it back safe and sound. Let's see if we can get this built right here. I think it's the grinder. Is that what I need? Raw materials into bricks and dust. Yes, it is. Okay, I should be able to throw this down now. I am definitely struggling for space, but right here will do for now. Awesome. So 12 stone will make one stone brick and one stone dust. Okay, I thought I had more stone than that, honestly, but that's all I have. Less than a thousand. Just going on a massive farming run here to get as much stone as possible. I'm gonna get all this going into bricks, AFK it, and I do want to get a stone, like, sort of finished room set up today, because then I'll, that'll allow me to operate every hour of the day. I can barely get in this place, oh my god. Well, that's a bit of extra stone right there. Just gotta wait until this is ready now. What does it take to make a stone wall? Ten stone bricks. Wow. A lot more than I thought, honestly. It's going to be quite a lot of farming to do. What is that? A stone golem? No thanks. I am getting this and leaving. That's a good farm right there. Jeez. Alright, I got more than I expected. I'm going to head back. <laughs> okay. Awesome. So, let's chuck all of that in there. That is a lot. And then we can upgrade the mace. And then we can farm loads of stone really easily. 
All right, the copper mace. Let's go. That's really nice, actually, for farming. Really want to try this really quickly, actually. So let's let's try that. I used to get 15 to 17 stone for every three hits. So that's 21. 22. One thing this has got in common with Valheim is the music. Like, Valheim's music got kind of annoying towards the end, so I just turned it off. But so far, this has got this very similar vibe. I'm liking it. It's also extremely easy to do farming during the day, because the trees give you enough shade. So, I think I'm going to be doing something constantly during the day from now on, rather than just, like, waiting. <laughs> What's really annoying is I can't stop farming, even though I know I need to. So I'm just going to push myself to not. I got a lot of wood from that. Very juicy. So, let's chuck this in the mill and go get some food. <laughs> That's so much. How much stone's done? Because this is what I need to complete the base. A good amount. Really good amount. It's enough for eight walls. Might be able to do it, honestly. 1% purity. God. Well, <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do. Turns out farming the ruins of old castles is actually really good stone. If you find a big enough one, it's almost better than stone nodes. I, I, it is better than stone nodes. Difference is, I'm pretty sure these won't respawn, so... There is that. I like being at locations like this, where you can see a bunch of stuff down here. You can't actually get that. That's the starter area. Um, but you can't actually get down there, it just looks really cool. Anyhow, I think this is enough farming. I've got a lot of stone here. This is, this is juice right here, so let's go home. 50% blood purity? Yes, please. <laughs> I really needed that, actually. I was getting quite low. Uh oh what, what just happened? He's, like, inspecting me as soon as I transform. He's like, you're a bit sus, my guy. What's going on? <laughs> okay, I think it is time to begin building... The actual base here. So let's take a look at this theory. I can make 45 territory expansions. I am going to try and expand to the top of the hill here because I've wanted to build up here since the beginning. So how does this work? How do I get up here? Requires ground. Well, I guess I can't go up here unless I build staircases. Okay, this makes sense. One there, and one there. And then I guess now I own up here. Lovely. Alright, well let's just... Let's get all of this, honestly. This is where I want to build my first stone structure. Alright, let's clear this place out. Ooh, stone brick from that. Cool. Alright, let's build and take a look at the castle pieces here. So we pretty much want reinforced walls... Window walls. Ah! Where'd you come from? See you later. Get out of here, thank you. I'm pretty certain that I'll want some windows up here, so I might have one there, one there. One here, I think, maybe? Oof, choice. One in the middle there, and we'll go on there. Are these more expensive? No. Okay, we're good. <laughs> As long as they don't cost more, I'm good. Reinforced entrance. Is that what that's called? Yeah, reinforced entrance. Let's chuck that right there. Castle gates. Royal gate. Oh. Damn, that's cool. I'm gonna need more stone for this, I think. I'm gonna put a window here and a window there. And then everything else is gonna be walls. And I can't afford it. Okay, this is going to be quite pricey, but look how sick it's going to be. Alright, let's use these doors for the first time. I wish they were automatic, honestly. I could see that been a thing. Maybe it is, who knows. Damn, this is so pricey. I wonder if I can get some floors. I would like some floors. Do they 
cost? I, yeah, they do. Okay. I'm gonna check in a few windows here, actually. Ooh. Royal red and black. I don't have glass yet, so I think... I think just these window bars will do. I want to go all out on this thing, and I want to get it done quickly, so... I'm not going to go spend any time trying to get glass. That's pretty good. I like it. Okay, it's been about an hour since the last clip. I've done some farming since then. I've gained a bunch of stone here at right here. Um, take a look inside the grinder. It's full as well. Also, there's loads of wood over here. I've been busy. <laughs> it's nice to have a bunch of resources ready. So, I think I have everything I need to finish off the stone castle up here. So, let's head up here and begin. Okay. I think I mentioned that everything here was going to be walls. So, we're just going to fill all that in right there. Another two there. One here. And this is now done. We just need to add floors, right? Okay, so I think what I wanted was the pathway, this, to be like, kind of like that. I'm not entirely sure if I'm honest with you. Like, I wanted a little walkway going around, but I don't think I can do that. We're going to try this. I want to see how this flows. So I guess I can have machines and stuff over here. I'm not going to lie. I don't think I like it that much, but we have a roof now. You can just see it at the top. This is done. <laughs> I don't like this. I much prefer choosing just one. So I think I'm going to reskin this, honestly. I'm just going to paint over it. A little bit of a waste. The only thing it was a waste of is time. It takes so long. But that is a very nice shiny floor. Awesome. So now I can build the everything down here, rebuild it in here, and it will gain a production bonus. So I think it's 25%. If you take a look here, 25% um, if it's in a confined room and if it has a matching floor. So I would gain a plus 50% speed boost. That is incredible. I think I'm just going to lay the machines down as far back to the wall and in the corners as they go. Just like that. Put that grinder all the way over here. I'm curious. It doesn't have a matching floor? I'm sorry? That's so sad. I've got the stone coffin. Okay, well... I would disagree. That's a matching floor. That's so rude. What's not matching? Oh. It needs to be workshop floor. Which I have not unlocked yet. So, that's okay. <laughs> 20 seconds is now down to 15. That's really good. Okay, the last thing to build, or rebuild if you will, is the research table. And this place will have everything that the, I guess, old base did. It's all part of the same base, technically, but there we have it. Right, well, that is going to conclude episode one. What a successful episode. Got so much done, it's ridiculous. Um, so I'm looking forward to just, I think, next episode, completing a bunch of these. Because I don't know why, but they've reorganized themselves. And I want to unlock the big stash and a bunch of other stuff here. The woodworking bench sounds cool. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like. If you want to see more V Rising, don't forget to let me know in the comments. I'll be looking through those. Any feedback as well, make sure to let me know. All right, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.